Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you be notified when I drop that heat, my main man, my main, main, main man, AB, Adrian the Problem Broner, is going to be going up against Manny Pacquiao, January 19, 2019, in Vegas, on pay-per-view, it's Manny Pacquiao's debut, being a part of PBC, and this is a big fight. It's a big fight in terms of the names. These are two of the biggest names in boxing, and whether you like or dislike Adrian Broner, you can't knock the fact that he's promoted himself very well to the point to where people are going to want to see him whether he wins or loses, and those are facts, but... Adrian Broner, in the beginning of his career, built his name off of Floyd Mayweather. He said he's going to be the next Floyd Mayweather. He was going to take over boxing. We've heard Adrian Broner say that several times. But Adrian Broner has not had that one fight, that one career-defining fight that's going to set him apart from the rest. And for as much as Adrian Broner promotes himself, for as much as he is out enjoying his life, living his best life, whether he wants to admit it or not, he is at a crossroads in his career. He is at a crossroads in his career. This fight against Manny Pacquiao is a career defining fight. It's not good enough for Adrian Broner to be competitive but lose. It's not good enough for Adrian Broner to lose a close decision. It's not good enough to just go 12 rounds with Manny Pacquiao and get blown out on the cards. Adrian Broner has to win this fight. He has to win this fight. Because Adrian Broner is on the borderline status right now. I repeat, Adrian Broner is on the borderline status right now. His last fight was against Jesse Vargas. Ended up in a draw. I, I was live on the channel for that fight. 10,000 strong, by the way, on that live. And I had a 7-5 Broner. A lot of people had a 7-5 Argus. Some people had it 6-6 six, six, a draw. Bottom line is the fight was a draw. Jesse Vargas is, is the same guy that just had another draw with Tomas DeLorme. And that was supposed to be a layup that was intended for Jesse Vargas to have a layup to go into a title fight with either Sean Porter or Earl Spence Jr. Chino Maidana fight. Laws. Sean Porter. Laws. Mikey Garcia. Laws. These are fights that were supposed to propel him into stardom as a boxer inside of the ring and he failed he failed and the thing with Adrian Broner is at some point in your career you have to show everyone you are who you say you are you say that you're one of the best you say that you're going to take over boxing you're the next Floyd Mayweather you're going to be the next guy in boxing Al Heyman has given you another opportunity an opportunity like you've never had before in your career this is not Chino Maidana this is not 
Mikey Garcia. This is not Sean Porter. This is Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. One of the biggest cash cows boxing has ever seen. One of the best boxers we've ever seen. Manny Pacquiao was on the downside of his career. Absolutely. But this is how you build superstars. You put the young gun up against the guy with a name, but he's on the backside of his career. The young guy does his thing. And now the young guy is the superstar. It's laid out for Adrian Broner. It's laid out for Adrian Broner. The question is, does Broner take advantage? Does Adrian Broner sacrifice absolutely everything inside of the ring? I'm not questioning what he does outside of the ring. We already know what he does outside of the ring. He's going to train hard and going to work hard, but he's going to play hard as well. That's Adrian Broner. That's always been Adrian Broner. If you expect anything else from him, you, you trip him. Is Adrian Broner going to lay it all out on the line inside of the ring? We've seen him lay it all out inside of the ring in spurts. In spurts. But we've never seen it throughout an entire fight. Now, of course, I'm going to do a breakdown and prediction video of this fight. I'm going to do a lot of a lot of film study and all that good stuff. You know, the, the usual stuff the G5 Jeff TV does. And I'll figure out who I like in this fight because I don't know who I like in this fight as of yet. I'm I'm leaning towards Pacquiao, but I'm I'm not I'm not 100% because I keep my opinion <clears throat> I keep my opinion consistent. I've been wanting Manny Pacquiao to stay retired over the past for the past 2 years. You understand what I'm saying? So this is one of those fights you just don't know what you're going to get out of each guy, but I trust Pacquiao a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But if Adrian Broner loses this fight, he's going to go from an entertainer, a must-see guy that can fight, to a must-see guy outside of the ring, but inside of the ring, he's either a gatekeeper or he's irrelevant. And when you're considered a gatekeeper or irrelevant, then the money doesn't follow you. The money does not follow you. Adrian Broner is used to certain paydays and certain statuses and certain spotlights. If Adrian Broner does not win this fight, honestly, where does he go? Where does he go? Fight's going to be at 147. Can he honestly beat anybody at 147? Can he beat Danny Garcia? Probably not. Can he beat Keith Thurman? Probably not. Can he beat Sean Porter? Probably not. Can he beat Earl Spence? Probably not. Can he beat Terrence Crawford? Probably not. Can he beat Amir Khan? Probably not. Can he beat a Kell Brook at 147? Probably not. Adrian Broner may not beat, he may not be able to beat the top 10 or top 15 guys at 147. So it is essential that Adrian Broner wins this fight against Manny Pacquiao January 19th, 2019. This is a career defining fight for Adrian Broner, whether he wants to admit it or not. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.